Welcome back. You're watching the news bulletin right here on India Today. The top focus at this moment, women's group bid to storm the Shani Shignapur temple in Ahmednagar district of Maharashtra was derailed by cops. The women outfit were not allowed to enter the temple and were blocked few kilometers away from Ahmednagar. After being stopped, women activists raised slogans vowing to return soon. The sacred shrine in the temple has been out of bounds for women as per the century-old tradition. The women's group, headed by activist Trupti Desai, had decided to stage a, a procession, in fact, today by offering worship to Lord Shani. Speaking to India Today TV, Desai said that they've been touring the entire state of Maharashtra to support or get support for their movement. And many different social as well as political organizations have in fact gone ahead and supported them. The police, however, have geared up to thwart the attempt by imposing prohibitory orders in the temple area and also plan to carry out preventive arrests. These are live pictures coming in from the Ahmednagar district border in Maharashtra where uh, Trupti Desai along with her group of women is sitting in the middle of the road. She refuses to budge. The police has made it very clear this far and no further. Kamlesh Sutar now joins us live with all the latest. Kamlesh, uh, do tell us what exactly does one expect from here? What is going to happen? Because these women have clearly decided that they're not going anywhere. Uh, well, Sanket, let me update you on the latest information that we are getting from uh, Shani Singhnapur town. One lady uh, reportedly belonging to the Pumata Brigade has been detained by the cops right outside this uh, temple. Uh, she was trying to storm inside the temple and cops have uh, detained her. That These are primary reports that are coming in. So there's a possibility that there could be more activists who have already camped inside the uh, Shani uh, Singhnapur uh, town and they could uh, possibly try uh, to enter the temple. So even though some uh, activists have been detained on the highway uh, to refrain them from entering into the temple there could possibly be uh, more uh, such activists more such workers belonging to the Bhumata brigade uh, who will be trying to enter uh, uh, this uh, temple premises but for now uh, the cops uh, have uh, started uh, 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 easing out the movement at the temple they're not allowing devotees to stop here uh, anywhere near that uh, platform those who are coming to or coming to offer press uh, are being asked to leave the campus immediately uh, so that there's no one who attempts to get inside uh, to the platform that particular place which is uh, prohibited uh, by the trust uh, uh, particularly for women uh, to enter there are barricades uh, here around uh, security has been beefed up outside the uh, temple as well uh, the villagers there are also waiting uh, outside the temple premises uh, uh, to stop anybody forcefully entering uh, that temple so for now uh, the administration for it's going to be an acid test uh, particularly for the cops uh, and administration to balance both the sides angry villagers on one side and on uh, the other hand we have protesters who are not willing to budge they say that they'll enter this temple come what may since it's a question of their fundamental right now you know Kamlesh just a short while back we were speaking to Mr. Nawab Malik of the NCP who gave a very diplomatic response that both the sides must sit together and look for an amicable solution absolutely typical Neta talk uh, just take us through how politically significant is uh, you know taking a stand on this particular issue where political parties don't want to appear anti-women but at the same time don't want to offend uh, you know, the trustees of this temple also, perhaps because of the influence they wield. Uh, exactly, Sanket. Let me uh, quote an interesting anecdote. When the controversy uh, started, uh, when the debate over uh, entering this temple, entry for women started, uh, when one women uh, tried to enter uh, the platform and the CCTV footage had created a uh, lot, lot of uh, ruckus uh, uh, in the religious circle as well as the intellectual circles. Uh, Kamlesh, do stay on with us. We've got uh, Shaina NC, the first BJP reaction here on India Today. Shaina. Uh, what is your position? I want to understand you as a woman uh, representing the political party of the Bharatiya Janata Party. What is your personal opinion about women going and worshipping in the temple? My personal opinion is that you give the woman the status of Lakshmi, Saraswati, Durga and on the other hand when she goes to a place of worship you say that if she touches the idol, it turns impure. This is a regressive mindset which needs to be completely deliberated on. It's imperative nice. to understand we are in the 21st century. And if we talk about gender equality and respect to women, it starts with uh, performers of any ritual being absolutely at par with the people who are 
uh, going there to the place of worship. So very, very that nice, that China. That's very encouraging what you have said. It's it's nice that uh, there are leaders like you who are very clearly taking a stand, as opposed to a gentleman that we spoke earlier who was uh, a little diplomatic in his response. My second question now is that because you know for a fact that the Maharashtra police or any police in a state for that matter reports to the state government. Would it not have been politically correct and would it not have sent a nicer message or a stronger message had the police supported these women so that they could go ahead, worship and come out? Why has the police decided to detain them? No, I think we need to understand two points here. One is that law and order needs to be maintained. Mm -hmm. That is a state subject and the police will do only what its duty is to ensure that there is no kind of lawlessness which seems to be happening at this point. But the sentiment behind this agitation is what we need to be docking on and what we need, need to reach out to the trustees of Shani Singapore and many such temples where they understand that times have changed. If in the past we had rituals such as dowry and sati which were done away with, this is something which is uh, in comparison not such a big deal to allow a woman to enter a place of worship, uh, be close to the idol and then depart. This is a practice which is obviously viewing women as a sign of impurity which is my biggest problem. The fact that you cannot respect a woman and we talk about gender equality in mm. the 21st century seems to be a paradox. So the larger issue is to get people from the uh, Shani Singapore Temple Trust to understand this viewpoint, to accept it and to be positive in the approach in the days to come. No, no, China, we that cannot is why... hold the police responsible or suggest that the police should allow entry or exit. The police is only doing its job. No, what is the, the police's job? Because right now what they have done is they have stopped these women. And again, I am repeating, because the police takes its order from the state government in the states, it's a state subject law and order, uh, would it not have been uh, politically correct, I would say, for the government to show solidarity with these women, allow them to go there and prevent the, uh, you know, maybe the villagers from attacking these women? Because they have taken a very hard position. That we will I think preserve it's our faith. It's important to understand this is not the position of the government. This is the position of a temple trust that runs Shani Singapur. And of course, this kind of agitation, why has it happened? Because women of the country and women of the 21st century feel this is against gender. And this is a, a, an argument which is not based on some kind of politics or some kind of religious sentiment. This is based on the respect to women at par with men. I think it's imperative to also understand that we as government have only to maintain law and order. If the Temple Trust does concede to this, for which we will agitate with these groups, there okay. will be an absolute entry for one and all. But to suggest that it should happen now and in this way is not a democratic process either. So let's understand there are two aspects to this debate. One mm. is women being allowed. And the second is when and how they should be allowed. So, Shaina, I am assuming that the deduction from this conversation with you is that the BJP is going to stand in solidarity, shoulder to shoulder with these women who are asking for their right to go and pray and worship, right? Yes. The state government Absolutely. is going to be with these women? Yes. Okay. Shaina NC, many thanks for joining us here on India Today. The BJP's position at this moment is that they want... They want uh, to support these women, but it has to be done in a different way, not uh, storming into the village, that is not, uh, or storming into the temple compound, that is not uh, something which the BJP is going to support at this moment. So what the police is doing at this moment is trying to restore law and order by preventing these women from entering the city. Rahul Narvikar now joins us on the phone line. Rahul, uh, the view of your political party, please. Well, I think uh, at least today, Mm -hmm. If not on any other day, we need to understand what the constitution provides for. Mm -hmm. And every person who has a stake in the democracy of this country should abide by the constitution. There is freedom uh, of religion to practice any religion. Uh, there is freedom, uh, there is equality that has been guaranteed by the constitution. And that being the case, I don't think there is anything unjustified in what these women are asking for, one. Number two, the double standards of the Bharti Janta Party have been totally exposed. Mm -hmm. On one hand, they talk about providing 
uh, equal status to anyone, everyone. And on the other hand, they are restricting and taking excessive action against citizens who are nothing but exercising their fundamental right. So, you know, uh, they need to understand that if they are supporting them, they cannot obstruct them. I mean, uh, it is the duty of the law enforcing agency to ensure that no untoward incident happens. Let them take appropriate action against people. No, also, are, Mr. Narvikar, uh, I mean, what the BJP ended up saying just a short while back, we were speaking to Shaina NC. She said, we support them. We support these women because we feel that this is a regressive mindset. Women should be allowed. But the no, but the point is that she says that this form of just barging in is also not something which uh, any any uh, you know it will cause a law and order problem, and that is something so that, the state so, police so, can't allow. So now the Bharatiya Janata Party will start imposing time restrictions as to when people can come and uh, pray and when people should not pray. Is that now the next uh, diktat of the BJP government? Are these the achievements that we were talking about? My my this other point, is, my other point, Mr. Narvikar, is that this protest is not new. These women have been protesting for the past six months. This protest has been going on. So to turn around and say that oh, this was so sudden, we were caught unawares, no. is also wrong. See, this is Bharatiya Janata Party's tacit support to fundamentalists who have been extremists. Uh, and religious fundamentalists. This, this is a tacit support to them, which they cannot mm -hmm. openly do, having being in government. So this is a tacit help to uh, such uh, extremists. Why? Why would they give this support? I mean, if you could see, you're from the state. If you could tell us a little about this Ahmednagar temple, uh, do they wield some sort of a clout? We have seen that usually it's politically inter incorrect to talk about these things in a state because. Uh, you know, I don't want to compare, but in Haryana, there are a group of people who are very influential and political parties dare not question you them. Know, by large, the culture of Maharashtra has been, to, has been very accommodative, mm. has been very just and has been very... Uh, equality has prevailed in Maharashtra. But uh, for the last one year, we've seen that, uh, you know, okay. there are incidents which are being provoked incidents which mm. are being promoted and incidents which are being supported. Mm -hmm. These incidents have been on the rise in the last one year. And uh, if there's anyone to be blamed for it, Rahul, the Rahul, for not taking up... Rahul Narvikar, uh, right would you bear with me for a second? Because I want to introduce in this discussion Mr. Rahul Ishwar. And I want uh, uh, you know you to hear this conversation. Mr. Rahul Ishwar, uh, you are associated with the Shabrimala Temple. Where do you stand on this issue? I would like to humbly request our sisters who are protesting there to take the recourse of law. Today is a day when our constitution came into force. We believe in rule of law. If you disagree with one practice, we have our court, we have government. Why storm into something? What is your Why position, bulldog? Rahul Ishwar? I'm sorry? What is your position? Should they go My and worship or should they not? This. Direct, come on, direct. Take the case of Shabirimala. In mm -hmm. the case of Shabirimala, some women groups are protesting. Mm -hmm. They have gone to a court. We are fighting the case in Supreme Court. But why take law into your own hands? Is it not against constitution? Is it not uh, saying that we don't trust courts? Is it not saying that we don't no, trust no, administration? I'm, I'm asking you what is, what is your position whether women should be allowed in temples or not? I can point out at least a dozen temples where men are having regulations. So does that mean that men should storm those temples? This is not discrimination. This is only differentiation. Uh, uh, Mr. Narvikar, are you hearing that? Shani Puja, I'll just take one more line. Shani okay. Puja, many women are having regulation. In the same way, in Shukra Puja, many men are facing regulation in Shukra Puja. After Navaratri, only girls are being worshipped there. In Nari Puja, the woman is being respected and worshipped. No male claims discrimination. Please don't look at Indian system from a westernized point of view. Indian system has a lot of diversity. That is our pluralism. Mr. Rahul Ishwar, the Indian secularism. system also was Sati. You will turn around and say Sati was also Indian system. In the, Let's in, in reintroduce. The, of course, if there is a gross violation, we need to intervene. Just because one Sati happened somewhere, can you say that the entire Indian system was at fault? We had our negatives. And who reformed Sati? A brilliant person called Raja Ramohan Roy came forward. All our reforms came from inside. They were never bulldozed. Let us talk, and why can't we have a committee where we have spiritual scholars, feminist activists, socio-political activists? Let us debate. Is it a right way to storm a temple? Temple is a sacred space, at least for those villagers. Respect their sentiments. Respect their feelings. Are you showing your muscle class? Respect the feelings of women. Rahul Ishwar, same argument reversed. Respect the feeling of women also. They've been protesting for six months now. Yeah, what so did so the trust so do? Why can't they simply go to court? 
No, no, trust has, trust has deployed 1500 police officials. On behalf of ourselves, we trust has deployed uh, villagers. Kind of debates and committees. No, no, Rahul Ishwar, the point is very simple. You are asking them to take a legal recourse, fine, I'm sure they will. But my point is very simple. If you're saying that views of the villagers and the temple trust and the faith of so many people must be respected, then the views of women also must be respected. Exactly. So some kind of a middle ground has to be there. That's the whole point of democracy. Democracy means discussion, dialogue, debate and consensus. These people are not willing for consensus. That's the reason why they are not talking. Even, you know, all the major channels have been requesting them at the top of our voice, let us discuss, let us debate. And maybe you have seen, even in Shabirmala case, we welcome debate. We are not averse to debate. We welcome debate. We welcome discussion. Why do you let think they are not discussing now? Why do you think they are not discussing? These people are not ready to discuss. They are no. not ready to put forward. All the media are supporting. 99% of the media are supporting. Let us talk to temple authorities. Let us talk to people. And there are similar instances where in Shukra Puja, male people are not allowed. In Kerala, there are there is a Shabirimala for women where 30 lakh women offer Pongala. Not even one man offers it. So should we have some kind of a menism like feminism and take forward our case? And let me point out with all no, great no, 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 I may have disagreements with many no. feminists. I respect feminism and feminists. Yeah. But unfortunately, feminism in India is slipping down into a female chauvinistic attitude. We have many male chauvinists in our nation, I concede. Rahul you are trivializing this issue. Female chauvinism is emerging in India. You are trivializing a very serious issue. We are talking about ending a regressive mindset and you are talking about, uh, you know, female chauvinism and all. That's not the discourse. My point is very simple. In this world of equality, do you think that a regressive old law or a faith must be revisited? And my question would be simple. How do you change it? Only by talking we can change, right? We believe in Gandhi and Ahimsa. We believe in non-violence. We believe in engagement. And unless if you engage to people, I'll ask you just a counter question. Mm -hmm. 400 women or 1,000 women came to, today and they went back. What if they continue the practice tomorrow? Saying that we will do once more a purification ritual and we will continue the age-old practice. Do you mean to say that every day this 1,000 uh, women will come there and create this whole ruckus again? No. Only way is talking, engaging. That's how the modern Fair democracy enough. should function. And I believe people like uh, Prithi Desai, who is very energetic and active, we respect her for her activism. Mm -hmm. Let her come forward instead of confrontation, let us have consultation. Is it too much to ask for? Okay. Rahul Ishwar, many thanks for joining us at this moment. Yeah. So, uh, there is a bit of an impasse at this moment. There is confrontation right outside Ahmednagar. Uh, these women, 1500 of them, who are not allowed to go inside the temple compound. They have been stopped about 20 kilometers away from the Shani Shrine and uh, they are protesting in the middle of the road. Let's quickly take a look at this report that our correspondent Pankaj Khelkar sent us a short while back. Rumata Ran Ragini Brigade is on their way. They have embarked their mission to fight for their right, right for equality. That is, women should be allowed on the platform to worship Lord Shani Devta. With me, I have all of the women who are traveling from Pune towards Shani Shunapur, a distance of almost 180 kilometers. 600 women are said to have embarked this mission. Let's talk with the President Tripti Desai. Tripti ji, tell me that you are going to go there. 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 हम भगवान के दर्शन के लिए जा रहे हैं दर्शन के लिए कोई किसी को रोक नहीं सकता आज 26 जनवरी है संविधान का दिन है गणतंत्र दिवस है इसलिए पुलिस भी कोई नहीं रोकेगी अगर किसी ने रोका तो वो राज्य घटना संविधान का अपमान होगा इसलिए हम ये सब जो विरोध है वो विरोध को जो कुछ है वो हम बिल्कुल डरते नहीं है हम सब वहाँ पे जाएंगे और आज शनि प्लेटफॉर्म पे दर्शन लेंगे यू प्लीज टेल मी वॉट मेड यू ज्वाइन दिस मिशन This mission is about supporting women all across, all over Maharashtra and of course the India as well. So we are here to get all the rights equally for women. And we are actually looking to place complete equality across the nation for women and actually get the rights that we own. Okay, let's go across to Pankaj Khelkar who joins us from that place where uh, this protest is presently taking place. Pankaj, uh, it will be interesting to know what group is this? Uh, and uh, do they have any form of support? Are they a self-help group? Uh, have they been, uh, I mean, have, are they self-sustainable? Are they politically aligned? Some, a, a word about Trupti Desai. 
Trupti Desai has a background of social work. For last 13 years, she has been she has involved she has been involved in different kind of social work. What she has claimed, right from getting people their rights, uh, like uh, some people she had helped while they had their money was laundered away by some banks. So she has some background, and this particular uh, Bhumata Ran Ragini Brigade, this although it's new, but the way she has gathered the women with, along with her, it seems that she has some backing. What kind of backing? That is still not clear. Over here, 25 kilometers from Amman Bazar, the road that connects uh, like Pune towards Nagpur. This is a national highway, and on this road, before uh, Amman Bazar, they have been in a way stopped. The uh, additional SP Pankaj Deshmukh, he has uh, in a way clarified that this is a precautionary measure because they wanted to, they are avoiding clashes between the villagers and this women brigade. And so, before, uh, in a, quite a distance, they have stopped them. This is a kind of detention, and if these women do not listen, then they will be arrested. Uh, how likely is that supposed to happen? If they don't listen to the police, if they don't disperse, what is the time frame that the police has given, Pankaj? See, as of now, almost 30 minutes have passed. The uh, road has been blocked. The women have been stopped from going any further. So, it might be that after an hour or so, uh, initially they will be detained, they will be taken to the police station and then the procedure of arrest will be done in the police station. But over here, what we have we seen that both are adamant, the group that has come from Pune, the women brigade, they are not ready to listen. They have stalled the, like in the way, they are giving dharna on this national highway, Pune, towards Ahmednagar. And police are there, street are, security is there, a lot of women police are here. and. This group is not being allowed to go any further. So detention is there. Simultaneously, arrest will also follow. EU MLA Sarfaraz Alam, along with his two associates, have been granted bail. However, they have been asked to cooperate with the investigation and their passports have been seized. The JDU lawmaker was...